What an incredible weekend it was at the 2023 Adventure Van Expo in San Juan Capistrano. This was the first event in the, of the year and boy did they nail it with over 100 vendors showing some incredible products. We spent the weekend there just so we could take it all in, camped out with some other van owners, which was always a good option. It's great to meet other van owners, share what you've learned and also learn from them about all the different great mods that they've done. So if you go to one of these events, I will leave in the description a listing of all the future events and dates and locations. If you haven't been and you're a van owner or you're thinking about buying a van, you just got to check it out. I'm going to be highlighting four different vendors in this video, several of which are sharing some new and exciting products. Make sure that you stay around to the end. I met for the first time a company by the name of TerraX. They have a couple of really cool products that I think you're going to want to check out. This is us. Say hi, Jeff. <laughs> Um, Jeff's giving out a lot of detail about our van to people that are asking, and I think because the show starts right here, like two vehicles over, and um, looking forward to heading out this morning. Okay, we'll get started. Bella Rue is right here with us, our faithful dog. Hi, Bella. Ah, hi. <laughs> Let the overwhelming day begin. Oh, look at this van. Whoa. That's you guys want a brochure? Right. Come on, check out Atlas Vans. Really cool custom work. It's okay. all, all the way down to the end. Make sure you guys be proud. All right. Okay, thanks. Right, we're here at Agile Off-Road. Check this out. They got some new wheels coming out in about four or five weeks. Four different colors. These colors here include, and then they've also got black. And uh, we're gonna give you a quick demo. Tell you all about them. There's a the black, isn't that sweet? All right, so we got John here. What can you tell us? So the new wheels are uh, 17 by eights. They have a 34 millimeter offset. Uh, we should probably show you how that works on the door because it does require a door spacer. Um, but one of the main features of the wheels is its load range. So its load range is 4215. And in this case, we've got a BFG uh, 285 75 17. This is the new all wheel drive 2023. Um, as well, we've got the new KT tire, which is, has a really, really high weight rating of um, almost 4,000 pounds. Okay, so here's a closer look at the tire installed um, on the new wheel. So this is called the, the Overland HD. The HD standing for heavy duty. This wheel is rated at 42, uh, 4215, so 4,215 pounds. Wow. Um, obviously, it's six lug here. It's going to come with a cap that flushes out. You also notice we've got two holes in the wheel. This is designed for two types of valve stems, okay? This one is a rapid air up valve. This is your rapid air down valve. And here's a closer look at the air down valve. So basically, take the cap off. In the case we make this gauge system, when you pull this lever, lever back, it allows the air to rush out prior to going through the Schrader. So they air down extremely rapid. If you're saying like this tire here, typically you're gonna be at about 50, 52 pounds for this front tire. This will probably air down to about say 25 in roughly six to seven seconds. When you're done- Wait, wait, six to seven seconds? Yeah, yeah. And when you're done, you just close this off, you get to your pressure, unclip this, and you're gonna see the cap now when it reinstalls, that cap will now keep the red lever from coming up. Now this valve here, this is brand, brand new. This is a rapid air up valve. And we're gonna pull this one off here. You're gonna look at it, you'll notice there's no Schrader in here. That basically has a one-way check valve in there and you'll notice it's a huge hole. And then here is the air up. This is an open chuck. So we're not having something like this inside of it. 
and that will reduce the flow. So you'll turn on your air compressor. Air is gonna rush out of here while your compressor's on and you're gonna take this and you're gonna thread that on. This reduces the air up time on each tire roughly about 30 to 40 seconds, which doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're airing up four tires or you've got um, you know, extremely low pressures that um, it, your air up times will be greatly reduced. So let me give you an example. I'll show you how fast this thing is. So I'll pull this guy off, put that on there. Uh, it's actually reading pretty high. So that's 60, I don't know, 65 PSI. I just went down to about 28 psi right That's there. That's wild. Okay. Then you unclip this, and when you want to air up back up, let's go and air this thing back up. Now, if you put your eyes on that gauge, you'll see that it's airing up pretty damn fast. Wow, that's incredible. Pretty fast. <laughs> so what we were at 28 PSI, and now we're already at 40, 40 PSI, and we will be at 52, which is recommended here in just a few seconds. The only problem with this, though, is what I enjoy about airing up, it takes me about 16 minutes, that's just enough time for beer. I'm not going to be able to drink my beer. Well, <laughs> you gotta, yeah. you, you, well, you have to go to shots. Shots. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for uh, sharing, yeah. sharing that with us. That's yep. really, really cool. No problem. Looks looks like we're at 50 right now. What is? I don't know how many seconds that's been, but that's been that's been pretty damn quick. Yeah, right? less less than 30, I think. So yeah, loving these new wheels. Can't wait for them to come out. Can't wait to get my hands on a set. Thank you for keeping us so warm. All right, you're welcome. Minus three degrees this winter, and we were sweating in our van. Nice, <laughs> love it. Hi, it's Mary Jane. I'm at CA Tune, and I'm with Tony. He's gonna talk to you all about this wonderful bumper here. Take it away, Tony. Hey guys, so uh, like I said, my name is Tony. I work here at CA Tuned Off-Road. This is our front bumper for the 2019 and newer uh, Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis. Uh, the main purpose of the bumper is obviously gonna be recovery. It's compatible with most winches. We typically recommend a 12,000 pound winch, whether it's the Warren, the Smittybale, Super Winch. Uh, everybody's got their favorite brands. Run whatever you like. It's compatible with all of them. Uh, we got these big beefy tow hooks on here for recovery as well. So if you do get your van stuck, you can pull on those. Those are actually long. They're welded to the frame of the bumper, uh, super beefy. We got this two inch hitch receiver. You can see today we're uh, utilizing it to have a hammock mount on our van, but you can really run whatever you want. Bike racks, table, you can pretty much put a two inch piece of square tubing on whatever you like and put it on the front of your van, on the back of your van. Having it on the front is that extra utility so your doors can still swing open in the back. The other the, uh, radar sensors and all that stuff. Yeah, so your parking sensors get relocated right here. A, uh, we do have a relocation box that comes standard with the bumper. So if you do have cruise control, the radar cruise control, it will work factory. If you don't have that option, you can just go ahead and toss that relocation box away. Um, the other thing is this bumper is gonna add not only that off-road rugged look, but it's gonna give you some protection. If you're running into a deer or something like that, it's gonna help protect the vitals like the radiator, that's behind it so it doesn't put you out of commission and you're able to make it home. How does it mount? What, what separates this one from some of the other 
So this bumper is actually has got a really solid way that it mounts to directly to the frame of the bumper. Um, it's got four mounting bolts where your original crash bar mount, uh, where your original crash bar would mount. Um, so we utilize that, most of the other companies do. The extra thing that we do is we get these big beefy brackets that go out and hug the, the bottom and the side of your frame rail. They bolt directly to that frame rail. So that way if you're tugging on it, you got a 12,000 pound winch, you got a big heavy van, you don't want that bumper coming off. Very cool. Yeah. Can't wait to get one of these. Yeah, I'm oh, sure yeah. this would look awesome on your rig. It definitely gives it that rugged off-road look like you see on our van, and it gives you all of the functionality you want without the extra bulk, without the extra weight. It's amazing. Right. Very good. Thanks, Tony. Yeah, no problem. I'm with Alex and Tara X. He's going to talk about his products. Hi, so I want to talk about our new product. So we have designed a Navidog, what is basically a drill-free navigation mount for the new Mercedes Sprinter Vans 2019 and younger. Um, basically how the concept works, it slides into the copies what Mercedes has designed and um, it's kind of like a wedge concept. It, this pulls up and then it kind of like wedges itself in and it's a complete um, drill-free uh, installation and it's rock solid, it won't move. And so what kind of accessories can you put on here? What do you guys typically use? We use, we, are, we partnered up with Ram Mount, so we use all the Ram Mount accessories we have here for our iPad, for the Garmin, GoPro, phone, all kinds of things, even for the overlander navigation, you can have um, accessories. Yeah. Awesome. Very cool product. We're looking forward to checking it out, giving it a test run on our own. Sounds good. <laughs> so here's the unit actually installed in the vehicle. Um, and let me just move it. It's not moving, it's in there. That's incredible. Yeah. So. Uh, so so you just use like an Allen in there? Yep, you use an Allen key and you just tighten it up until you feel it getting snug and then... Um, the whole van is shaking. Yeah, it's you, you shake the van on that, <laughs> it won't move. All right, this is awesome. Yeah. Very cool. All right, so we're still with Alex and he's going to tell us about another product they have called this doorstop up here. Yeah, so if you ever park somewhere and you want to have your rear doors open and it's windy, it's you can't do it with if the door slam it's not good for it so we came up with this rear door stop which basically goes on all the original uh, mercedes mount, uh, uh, mounting points and to release it you basically just release this pin pop it out it can hang down there and we will have a bracket that would stabilize it but if it interferes anyway with the mosquito net, the way how you take it out is basically just... Oh, nice. And that's, that's it. Easy. And then you can store it away. And this is telescopic. You just push it oh. together and then it's this long. Nice. And... Um, yeah. So back. how far can that extend out? Um, we don't want it to go farther than this because this brings just a whole other level of um, tension on the door if the wind does blow, but it can extend on this one a little bit farther, but this is where we kind of like to stop it. Nice. Okay. Right here. That's so, awesome. And then you see this is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Out at the beach, mm -hmm. I can rest assured that uh, mm -hmm. your doors stay open. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I yeah. like it. Nice. Thank you. So here's a look at the remaining shows for 2023. Hope to catch you at one of these down the road. Take care all. And we'll continue producing content with the goal of providing useful information that'll help make your van life experience more enjoyable.